Hey guys! In this video I'm gonna show you some basic features of Simatic Collaboration Board on Mindsphere. In this video I will show you how to document machine faults and process problems in the Collaboration Board so that they can be systematically worked on and solved afterwards. Arriving at the dashboard, I start the new solution workflow by clicking the New Problem button in the left side menu. As you can see above, this consists out of four steps, the first of which deals with the description of the problem. And by describing, I really only mean to describe what you have just observed at the system by means of a predefined question list. It doesn't matter who is doing it. The main thing is that the problem is written down. In my case, I want to document the problem that occurs sporadically on our demo machine after we change the robot's tool. Part of the problem description is the selection of the members who are needed for the solution. By only clicking, you select project members and by clicking and holding down a name, I appoint a project member to be the problem spokesman, so to say. By entering free text or multiple choice answers, all details can be collected that may be relevant later in the solution process. By the way, the process can be interrupted and resumed at any time if I'm already called to the next problem while typing in one. Step 2 in the wizard leads me to the problem analysis, where I can currently choose between two different analysis methods. The 5Y method or the Fishbone Ishikawa model, shown here. Why this is called that can be seen quite well from the representation. The individual fish bones in the diagram represent the influence of different factors such as man, machine, material, methodology or environment. This is to ensure that all possible causes of problems of different origins are considered. This problem analysis is typically carried out by the entire project team at a later stage when there is time for it. The project members assign possible causes to each cluster and evaluate them via a star rating system how probable this cause is for the corresponding problem. By the way, to avoid having to switch back and forth between problem description and problem analysis, all entries are listed to the left side of the fishbone diagram. Save and click on Next leads us to the third step. For solving the problem, it is now possible to define measures to eliminate the detected causes. A completion date and a rough estimation of the effort and costs, as well as the expected effect, can be added to the task. The selected member automatically receives the task pinned to his dashboard in the My Task section and thus has all his tasks on screen every time, also including those of other problem workflows. Using the small slider, the individual tasks can be archived in the solution history. This helps other factories and project groups to better understand which activities contributed to the solution. The last step is suitable for finalizing the problem and adding comments that can provide other colleagues with useful tips and thoughts. However, if the problem is not completely eliminated, despite the processing of all tasks, you are automatically sent back to the beginning of the workflow. 
And don't worry, all previous entries have not been deleted. They have only been documented in version 1 of the workflow and the team can now rethink the complete solution. Everything as usual. Save. Define tasks. and close. After that, the workflow is complete and permanently stored in the database and can be viewed by all users of the app inside your Mindsphere tenant. Eventually, this means that problems that have been already solved elsewhere in one factory can be solved faster in other factories. This ensures that domain know-how remains within the company and can be used in the long term. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.